hi what is good my chosen ones what is good my star seats and what is good my angels hi it's go to chastity and i am back again with another intuitive message okay i wanted this to come outside because i'm going to tell you guys something really important that's going on in my life situation if the, you hear the wind i'm sorry this is the only way I can have my privacy to tell you guys what's going on, okay? So just listen carefully. Now, I've been renting a room place with people who I just don't know, okay? And I've been renting there for nine months. I've been there for a quite long time. Ever since I've been living there, they start drama they bully me gossip about me like they always got they always have to find a problem to just blame something on me or hurt me because all i do is try to protect my own peace and go in my room pray make my videos and that's it and I, the reason why I like to keep myself protected because, you know, when you got to realize people out here, they are not your friends. Everywhere you go, like, people is not your friend, okay? And this is what God is showing me, that they is not my friend. Nobody is not my friend. God will send you your own soul tribe. So I noticed right from the spot that... It was causing problems at that house you know they don't like me okay they hate me and the reason why they hate me so much because it's my spirit okay I have a very bright spirit and they can feel when you so spiritually connected and awakened god will put this glow on you okay and this type of glow i'm talking about is this glow that people is just they will look at you like you're an angel or something okay and they see the glow on me they are annoyed by my spirit okay they, they look at me like I'm perfect, and y'all already know, I tell y'all that on my videos, that I'm not perfect at all. Everybody do mess ups, okay? So, now, I just feel like that they just had it with me. They know they can't get me. They know they can't manipulate me. They, they try their best to bully me. It's three roommates, okay? Three roommates that i'm living with in that house and they've just been causing problems and you know this was a part of the test that god has got me on with these people and now they starting to send me a 30-day notice that they want me to leave from that house okay they don't want me to live there no more. They want me to leave the house that where I'm basically living at. And I'm like, okay. So God, he's showing me my endings. I tell you guys, when God show you, when you're on your spiritual journey, and when God give you these life lessons that you need to learn, you go through them, you learn through them, and God will show you your ending that this chapter is about to close and another chapter is about to open. So I'm in a tower right now. Um, this is, I'm seeing angel number 1010. Okay, that's the ending of cycle. Okay, new cycle is going to start. And when God show you your ending, it's not going to be a happy ending. Uh, it's going to be a lot of chaos a lot of bs a lot of just craziness okay i just want to tell y'all that you know 
this is the position that God got me on, like, but he is on his way. God is on his way. I don't know where God is taking me. I have no clue. But God keeps sending me these signs that congratulations. You completed the cycle. You have graduated from this storm, this cycle. Okay? My angels congratulate me, sending me just signs, okay? Telling me congratulations. So this lets me know that I have finished my cycle of completion. And he's going he's taking me somewhere and i have no clue i don't want to doubt i don't want to feel negative about it okay i just want to keep trusting god and just have that faith okay just have that little faith that he is going to get me out of there and i'm hearing it so soon so soon god is taking me somewhere and I have no clue. <laughs> so, sorry y'all, I had to look around my surroundings because I am outside. <laughs> so, yeah, this is the message that I wanted to tell you guys. Like, I'm really trying to get more clarity, get more answers, like, from God. I don't know, I have no clue where God is taking me, but I'm hearing that it's saying that I'm moving for the good. It's going to be a good thing where I'm going to. I have no clue what it is, okay? Only God knows. So, I'm just trying to, you know, always make sure I keep up with a backup plan. That I look for jobs, you know, online. Or I just can have my uncle help me, okay? And I will look for another roommate place to stay. But I believe that God is going to get me out of there soon very shortly so this is a part of my ending and this is what i wanted to, to tell you guys like they they don't like me ever since i've been living there they have not been treating me with respect they treat me like i'm just this young dumb person okay and they, they see my light. They know who I am. They know, they see that I'm a star. They know I'm, it's something good coming for me, okay? So what they're trying to do is trying to um, ruin God's work and try to throw me out. Because on that paper, on that paper, it said I got three days to leave. So you already know I have to be on my grown woman stuff. And I had to tell my roommate, the lady who's the owner of that house, that you're going to have to give me more days than this because, first of all, I already pay rent, okay? And second of all, you're not going to throw me out like that because the law says 30 days, okay? So she told me, she was like, oh yeah, it said that on the paper, but... I am giving you 30 days to stay here. And I said, okay, all right, that's fine. That's all I needed, you feel me? But it's just so sad because that lady, she was a really nice lady. I had no beef for her, but it's just the two roommates that's what she living with, they like, they old, they manipulate her so bad. You know, she's an old lady. She has dementia. They like to play on her dementia. They like to pray, just pray on her and play on her. You feel me? So, they had made her come to me and tell me that I need to move out. So, but you know what? This is just a part of, like, the test that God had got me on. But... It, it feel uncomfortable. I already knew it was coming. God gave me the clue. Like, he gave me the sign that they finna kick me out. And I knew it. My intuition be on point. Me and my sister, we were talking yesterday. And I said, I feel like that they don't want me there no more. I feel like that they don't 
want me to just be there like I'm not welcome home there so as soon as I went home I knew it it was paper slid under my door and it said that the three-day notice that I have to leave but God is not gonna leave us listen to me chosen ones God is not gonna leave us in the cold okay he's not gonna let us suffer no more we've been praying we've been keeping it right we've been treating people right and you know this is our season in our time our month June to get rewarded so there's going to be no more people that's trying to control us bully us no more narcissism people God got something for them something hard is coming for them okay so you don't even have to worry about it God gave them second chances God gave them warnings okay sorry I just had to really keep looking around my surroundings okay <laughs> God gave us warnings that to do right and if if we don't do right then he's just going to punish us the karma people going to suffer okay so that's all i gotta say to the ones that's trying to hurt like you feel me the people like that's us that's nice that's kind god got something for them all right so you don't have to worry about revenge you don't have to worry about anything because god got already got it like under control so this was the message that i wanted to say um i'm gonna start walking okay because i just want to i need to look around my surroundings like i said when you have this vibration that's really high people can feel that all right me i be, i see myself and i believe that i am a true star seed okay i am a true star seed i was made for this i was destined for this okay to become this who i am today okay that's a celebrity that's somebody that's in the upper okay but we're not going to suffer for long. We're, I mean, we're not going to suffer for long. We're not going to struggle financially no more. Okay? So, I love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I'm sorry if I kept on kind of looking around. I really have to look around my surroundings because I'm telling you, this what I have, this vibration, anybody can come up towards me and try to do something. Okay? So, always make sure you look around your surroundings okay and just keep your head up keep staying prayed up and pray for me i'm, I'm going to keep saying some prayers for me i believe that god is going to take me out of that home situation and he's going to bring me somewhere i don't know i have no clue don't ask me where i'm going because god he's not showing me where i'm going but i believe that i'm going to go somewhere something from the good but i don't know when i'm leaving okay i have no clue but I just want to motivate somebody that's struggling that you're not going to suffer forever, okay? You're not going to suffer forever. God is not going to leave you out in the cold no more. This is our season, our, our month, okay? June, I love you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. I'll see you guys in the next message, okay? Bear with me, please. Please share this message. Let a lot of people know. Thank you.